How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about MMAT Meta Materials. Yes, I want to make sure I give you guys an update. We did end up seeing some strength inside of the market today. So hey, let's just jump into it. So we're going to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis. Taking a look at the overall price action, we saw that it was green on the day. We already know it's been beaten up for quite a bit. Can we continue to see moves to the upside? Hey, we're going to be taking a look. And then secondly, we're going to be taking a look on Fintel at the short interest information. Does it continue to have short squeeze potential? This is very key here because it will have an impact in regards to the overall stock price and how it moves. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. Are institutions loading up on shares? We're going to be finding out for today. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts. So let's get to it. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for MMAT Metamaterials. Let's see how it performed on the day. So we ended up closing at $3.56, being up 8.87%. On the low, it tested $3.26, and then on the high, testing $3.60. And as far going down the side of the post market at the time of this recording, it's at $3.53. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, we traded at 11.507 million shares. And as far as for the average volume over 10 trading days, it was at 19.796 million. So even though we did have below average volume, we ended up seeing some strength overall in MMAT. We were talking about, hey, it's literally just sitting on support. It's been beaten up quite some time. So it's great to see some movement. But we are using the one year daily chart. Let's see how it's lining up with their indicators quickly. We could see here the RSI being at 41.29. So it's still in the oversold territory. It is still below the 100 day, the 21 day EMA, and as well as the 200 day. You can see clearly right now the 200 day is now an area of resistance for MMAT. We ended up getting to around $3.60 before being hit with some selling pressure. The 200 day is at $3.67. So what we want to look forward to, we want to see it come back to reclaiming this 200 day and then upon doing that then of course the next level we want to look out for will be right here around the 390s if you can get past the 390 level and start going into the fours then the next test would be around 425 and as well as 430 so this is definitely some areas that you're going to want to continue to keep an eye on if it does decide to pull back of course we want to see this 325 area hold it tested 326 before showing some strength and moving to 356 so we want to see a continue continuation of that and if it decides to pull back even further then look out for this area around three dollars and eight cents so just knowing that you have a game plan you have a strategy you know support you know resistance let's see what it looks like going into tomorrow so we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information for mmat so you can see here the short volume ratio is at 30.98 percent as we scroll down on the page short shares availability is at one million updated one minute ago and as far as for the short ball free rate it is at 3.04%. Taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the 27th close, it was at 57.36. And for the 26th close, it was at 56.92. So taking this into consideration, there's a ton of short interest inside of this play. So we definitely have to have a lot more buying volume coming into the stock in order to force a possible short squeeze here. And that's one thing I want you guys to understand. So as far as what we want to look forward to going into tomorrow with this information that we got with the short volume ratio, we want to see buying pressure. This is essential. If we don't end up getting that volume or a lot of buying going on, of course, we could see more pressure being put on the stock price. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for MMAT. So we can see here on the inflow, we have 8,851. And on the outflow, we have 8,630. We have zero on the large for both. On the medium, we have 5,281. And on the small, we have 3,571. On the outflow side on the medium, we have 5,383. And on the small, we have 3,200. 
and 47. So yes, we had an inflow day, but when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, as far as for today, which is July the 28th, we had zero. So institutions were not taking part in regards to any large scale orders whatsoever. Were they taking part in medium and as well as small? Most definitely, I could see this occurring because they don't wanna expose themselves to too much risk. As far as on the retail side, we could definitely see there was a lot of buying that was going on, which is of no surprise, because of course, MMAT is a very popular ticker, and there's a lot of people that trade off of the fluctuations as well. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for MMAT Meta Materials, as far as the technical setup is concerned, it is definitely there. That's why there's no surprise that there's good amount of traders that are gonna be inside of this play. Another thing as well, when we went on Fintel, it still continues to have short squeeze potential with the short volume ratio being very high. But one thing you have to be aware of though, if we're not getting a lot of volume or there's not a lot of buying pressure, you're gonna continue to see pressure on the stock price by seeing it pull back. So I wanna see some strength on that 200 day. I've been saying this for quite some time, but again, this is something that it really needs. If we continue to be below that 200 day, then we can really start pulling back. So we wanna see some strength, especially as this week comes to a close. We saw some strength inside of the market today. We had some small caps and as well as some medium cap stocks that were able to actually benefit from the strength we saw. As we know, there's a lot of money that was going into the big tech. So it was great seeing that shift occur. Now we want to see MMAT make that move and possibly we want to see it go to that $4 level. That's what we're looking for. So again, we're going to have to keep our eyes on it. Keep it on your watch list, keep it on your radar. And if you are gonna be trading this thing, just make sure you have a strategy in regards to your entry and as well as your exit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.